I'm in zero trust, access, add an application. So we're gonna do self-hosted. That means we're gonna put the entire domain behind this zero trust authentication. And now we gotta go through zero trust, right? Let's try to hit it up. And it says server is not reachable, right? It didn't know what to do with that. So how do we get the mobile app to work? Go to service auth, and we're gonna create a service token. And the policy is gonna be bypass. We're gonna put in our client ID and our secret, and we should bypass the zero trust from our mobile app. So let's create a new header and paste the header name. And then we gotta get that value. And we are connected. Hey guys, if you are exposing image through a Cloudflare tunnel, you should make sure that you're using the Cloudflare zero trust access. This is gonna restrict access to the entire domain of your image application. Now you might say, well, image has the um, login page that someone has to get through, right? We don't even want that to be exposed, okay? We want to have to hit that authentication page first. But the first problem you're gonna say is, well, then the mobile app doesn't work, right? That's not the case because Image does have a setting for custom headers with each API request. So I'm gonna show you how to set up the Cloudflare access to allow the mobile app to use a client ID in secret to get past that zero auth so that the mobile app is able to work even though the entire domain is behind zero trust access. All right, let's get the mobile app working with zero trust access. So we're using Cloudflare tunnel to get into our image application. Let me just make sure I can do that from the image app also. So I'm gonna come in, go to image.wildebeastmedia.com and it connected, right? I can now enter my credentials and connect to the server. But I don't want you guys to expose it like this. Let's go ahead and put this behind zero trust and see what happens, okay? So I'm in Cloudflare, I'm gonna hit add an application in my access area. So I'm in zero trust, access, add an application. So we're gonna do self-hosted. That means we're gonna put the entire domain behind this zero trust authentication. Application name, I'm going to call it image zero trust. And then we're gonna add a public host name. This is going to be the image.wildebeastmedia.com and then access policies. Let's just go ahead and create a new one, okay? So we go create new policy, policy name, and then I'll call this image web, and then it's gonna be allow. And then we are going to allow email addresses. Let me add my personal email address here, and then boom, that's it. So we've got that policy, okay? So let's select the image web policy, confirm. Okay, we have the login methods, one-time pin, Google, OAuth, I'll hit next and then I'll hit next and then save. So this is how you would typically set this up, right? And then let's try hitting this domain again. And now we gotta go through zero trust, right? So I'll sign in with Google. Okay, and now we're in, right? But what happens if I try to do this on my mobile phone now? Okay, so we're gonna bust out my mobile phone. Let's try to hit it up. And it says server is not reachable, right? It didn't know what to do with that. So how do we get the mobile app to work? Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is go to service auth and we're gonna create a service token. Token name is going to be image mobile access. And we can give this token an expiration or we can say that it's non-expiring. Um, so if you do set an expiration for one year, you know, you can rotate it, it's good practice. But we're just gonna do non-expiring and generate token. So we have a client ID and a client secret. Save it in a secure place. So let's put that into Notepad real quick. Okay, so we have a client ID and a client secret. So let's go to our applications, go to image zero trust configure, go to policies, and we're gonna create a new policy. And this one is going to be image mobile app. And the policy is gonna be bypass. And then we are going to select a service token and we're gonna select the image mobile access token that we just created. So it's a bypass policy. 
save that. And then let's make sure we select that policy we just created. So image mobile app, confirm. And then we're gonna save our application. Uh, I'll just email these to my mobile phone here. Okay, so I've got my email right here. And what I'm gonna do, let's copy this header and then I'm gonna go into my image mobile app, go to settings, go to advanced, and then custom proxy headers. Define proxy headers the app should send with each network request. So we're gonna put in our client ID and our secret and we should bypass the zero trust from our mobile app. So let's create a new header and paste the header name. And then we gotta get that value. So, and paste. Okay, let's add another one. So this is gonna be our Cloudflare access secret. Paste, paste. So let's give this a whirl. And we are connected. Okay, let's see if I can log in. Cool, so I'm in, the app is working just like I expect it to work. And I have zero trust on my image instance. So that it's not, it's not publicly, like not even the front end of the web page is accessible to the, the web without going through the forward off first. Hey guys, if you learned something from this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more of my content, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button. So that way you get my next video, which will likely come out a week from this video. I really appreciate the viewers and I appreciate you uh, giving me feedback in the comments or asking questions. So I hope to see you in another video. All right, see ya.